I'm here with softball co-head coach Karen Bitter. Coach, just to get started after a shortened 2020 season, just talk about how good it feels to be so close to playing your first game of 2021. Yeah, we're thrilled, um, especially just, uh, you know, the cancellation of stay early on. You just kind of had that feeling like, are we going to get to? Um, but, you know, the ending 2020 the way that we did, and it was really hard. It was hard on the girls. Um, and it feels like we've been practicing forever um, with fall season, us not being able to compete um, and, and have any kind of outside competition. Uh, I know the girls are ready to play. Uh, they're just chomping at the bit. They're over practicing uh, right now. So they're excited about that. And just kind of piggybacking off of that with the season going on, I know the off season has probably looked a little bit different. So how have you all been preparing this off season? If it's been any different. Um, as far as um, preparing, I mean, I think the biggest thing that has been um, just shifted around a little bit is, you know, kind of just smaller groups. Um, we uh, haven't been able to, you know, practice um, at times in large groups. Um, it's just kind of been, um, you know, trying to keep people in pods and things like that. Um, but this spring has been great. We've been able to um, practice a little bit more as a team and, you know, which is something that you really want to try to do, um, get the girls together. Um, but I think for the most part, we've been able to, you know, I think the snow has kind of been a little like weather just kind of been a little bit challenging as far as being able to get outside. But, um, you know, we've been able to get kind of used to that, I guess. But um, we've been able to get a few things done. But um, we haven't been outside, I feel like, as a team as much as we have before in the past. So um, we'll just kind of have to see how we do defensively, cut some relays, things like that. Um, but it's, uh, I think, with the masks and you know, the testing and all of that stuff that we've had to do. But the girls have been great about it. Honestly, I think I complain more about it than what they do. So um, I'm really proud. I'm really proud of them. Um, they're pretty tough about it. And they don't really, they don't say anything. They just do. I think that kind of attests to how, you know, hard it was on them when the season was banged, you know. So I think they're just, what I, I'll do whatever, just as long as I get to play. And you return most of the roster this year with 12 coming back, um, including preseason all-sack selections and McKenna Falwell and Kaylee Jones. Just talk a little bit about uh, that group and what you're looking forward to seeing from them. Yeah, um, I mean, it's interesting because, you know, we've got some, like, um, we've got some – just age on us in some positions if that makes sense and some experience but um we're also a little young in some key spots too um so you know I think uh yeah I'm excited to see how it's going to work out um you know I think we've got a little bit uh, on the corners we're a little bit older um but in the middle we're a little bit younger so um but you know I think uh I think we're going to be okay we're excited to have you know, McKenna back and KJ back, they were having outstanding seasons and outstanding years. And, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, I, I just know that they're competitors and they want to get out there and compete and work. And, um, you know, so uh, I'm glad that they're back and, and looking forward to what they can bring to this, the team this year. And then, like you said, so you do bring in seven newcomers. Um, just kind of talk about uh, those girls and what you're looking forward to seeing from them. Yeah, the seven, you know, newcomers, friends, new friends that we have, um, they are, um, you know, we've got, we'll probably have two freshmen play in the middle, uh, shortstop and, and second baseman to start. Um, so I think that's going to be, um, you know, just interesting in that sense. Um, they are really, really good ball players. Uh, they compete, um, you know, so that's exciting. We'll have um, a freshman back behind the plate at times this year too. Um, she's got a great arm and, you know, uh, I think, um, you know, just, just trying to get them some experience, I think more or less from, you know, just a game type standpoint, you know, like with cuts and relays and, you know, things, but um, the, uh, 
you know, we've got some pretty solid freshman hitters, you know, coming in. So um, I'm just excited to see how they're going to contribute, you know, to the team and, and how, you know, just our success this year and, um, and watch them grow. Uh, you know, I think that's the big thing. It's just kind of, um, they've gotten a lot better since they've walked through those doors. So, um, you know, just looking forward to seeing them play. And it was our first year in the sack last year, um, even though that season was shortened, we got about four games in and picked up a win over Tusculum. Um, league play is a bit away, but just thinking about it, how are you preparing this year from what you saw last year in those four games? I mean, in years past, when we were in the Mountains, the SAC was our non-conference schedule, basically. So, um, you know, I'm pretty familiar with the programs that we play. Um, it's not something that's going to be entirely new to us. Um, the fields, the com you know, just the level of competition. Um, you know, so I think really at the end of the day, uh, the girls just need to be consistent. You know, I think that's the biggest thing over the last couple of years that we've been missing is we've had some success. We've beat some top 25 teams. You know, we've looked good against schools in the sack, uh, but it's been a little bit up and down at times. And so I think for me, I just really want to see the girls be a little bit more consistent this year, um, you know, in their, in their level of play um, instead of like getting hyped to play one game and then not the other. Um, so I think that's kind of been something that's, um, you know, just been a little bit challenging for us but I'm, I'm look I think this group has got it I think this group is going to be the team that can come out and work hard um and just you know put up a good fight that's what I want them to do I want them to be hard outs be tough outs make them make a play you know um and uh, I just kind of want to go out there and I don't want people to want to play us. <laughs> so you open the season at Chawan um tomorrow and in the last three matchups uh we ended up winning. Um, so just kind of talk about tomorrow's matchup against Chawan. Um, as far as Chawan is concerned, I mean, they have a really solid program. Um, you know, we've, uh, we haven't seen them a whole lot over the years. Um, we did see them last time. I feel like it was the, the regional tournament that we saw them play. Um, but um, I mean, you know, they've, they've got, a, they've got a really solid program and a really solid team. So, um, you know, I think if we can go out and just play the way that I feel like I know we can play, um, you know, we're, we're going to be, we're going to, we're going to be okay. Um, you know, they, uh, they've got some good hitters. They've got some good pitching, um, you know, so, but you know, it's kind of early in their season too. So, um, you know, I think, uh, I, you know, I think it's going to be a good matchup. It's going to be a good game. Thanks coach. And good luck tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks.